child's stress hormones through their saliva and how that is correlated to parental involvement, marital adjustment, and parental depression, and then looking at child temperament, specifically anger and frustration. Well, I'm a lifeguard, so personally we have issues when you jump in that your top comes up or your bottoms fall down. So we added this tether effect in the swimsuit right down the middle that holds it together. And we also did research on the buckles because they're innovative and creative and new. We also did research on fabric because they would leave nasty tan lines. But there's actually fabric that the sun rays go through and you can get an overall tan. What we're working on is trying to understand the exact vector, pathogen, and host dynamics that are occurring in epidemics such as the avian pox virus in the Galapagos Islands. Uh, what we want to figure out is what's going on between uh, vectors such as mosquitoes, pathogens such as avian pox virus, and how they are working together, if at all, to um, infect uh, the host, which right here is the uh, Galapagos finch. As a foundational study, maybe five, ten years down the road, we might be able to apply it to human medicine. Grass-fed beef is, is something that a lot of people are, are looking into and, and something that a lot of people are, are, um, are wanting to consume because of the nutritional value that, that it has. We know that omega-3s um, are something that is healthy for us and, and so we know that also conventional beef doesn't have very much of it. You know, we're down in this level in, in omega-3s. In omega but when we get up into in the grass-fed beef, we're quite a bit higher. We went with fish oil, that's how we added to these burgers. We added fish oil at different percentages. And that's because, I mean, people who have had experiences with grass-fed beef, it's varied in, in what they're tasting, but a lot of them come away saying it was fishy. And therefore, it's, it's an important topic in agriculture. <laughs>